guys. Welcome back to the fourth revolution quarantine edition. I'm Daniel LeBeau, and today I'll be talking about stocks for your portfolio of the future. So we just had a slew of cloud earnings reports this week, and a couple buying opportunities that could be very savvy um, for investors looking for a discounted uh, cloud player that's poised to take off during these roaring 20s. First one is Salesforce, and this team has been a, a powerhouse throughout 2020 and it had a large sell-off yesterday because of Benioff's plan to buy Slack for 27.7 billion dollars which a lot of analysts are saying is a little bit lofty for a company that's been a little bit of a lagger in this uh, digitalizing 2020 and then we'll take a look at a cloud computing company that is focused on machine learning and the sell-off it had today and it's already rebounding quite a bit since its bottom this morning. So this is uh, Salesforce's chart for the year. You can see the company has just torn up all the way as high as uh, 285 from the lows of 115 in the heart of the pandemic. And we've kind of traded sideways with the rest of the tech market since then. Um, and then concerns about this Slack acquisition started last week and into earnings a couple days ago, which led to this massive sell-off. And as you can see here, we're kind of trading in this Fibonacci bound uh, market here. And we bounced off right at uh, 215, which is a retracement from, um, a level from a retracement from our September highs to our end of October lows. And I think this could be the bottom right here. And I am buying in right around 220 and we'll continue to average down if we break 220 again um i think this company and its ceo mark binioff are things that i do not want to bet against you can see my oscillators right now are showing oversold and i am betting on mark binioff taking on microsoft and the rest of the enterprise cloud companies um and they're looking for they're looking for a 500 billion dollar valuation with this acquisition of slack they're going head to head with Microsoft's teams. And I think even though it had a lofty valuation, I think that Benioff could uh, could really turn this into something profitable. I know last year he had the big acquisition of Tableau for about $7 billion, or sorry, $17 billion. And there was a lot of pushback from analysts and investors on that one, but it's turned out to be quite a successful acquisition. And I think something similar is gonna happen with Slack. So Splunk has had a wild ride since this, uh, this pandemic began with a massive sell-off, the shares nearly halving, and then just blowing up from the bottom, you know, almost 140% from the lows at 193 all the way up to over 225. But today is a big sell-off for this company, dropping over 20% on earnings that were, uh, were not so hot. Uh, investors and analysts are concerned that the company is uh, is experiencing some competition in the space, and that is what's causing the lag. I am less uh, apprehensive about the long-term future of this company. I think this is just short-term, you know, headwinds we're seeing because of the uptick in in, in cases and you know companies and enterprises not willing to uh, to spend as much on external services like Splunk. But this company is undoubtedly a, uh, a, a company of the future and for the future. So here is the Fibonacci chart that I have been, uh, been tracing throughout the pandemic. As you can see, um, we, we topped out right here at the golden level 1.68. Um, as, uh, as we reached uh, this level, we kind of retraced, retracted, and... Uh, like I said, fell off. And today has been a, a wild ride as, as it is. And we've had the highest volume that we've seen in years from this company just in morning trading. And, you know, we can see the, the bulls coming back into play after the stock came down to 252 um, and really starting to buy this back up. But I think this is still a great opportunity. I think this is way oversold. You can see the RSI relative strength index hitting a below 30 level showing oversold um, oversold tailored territory for SPLK and I think this is an opportunity to jump into a uh, business that is going to drive in this 
5G revolution as it controls the Internet of Things, allowing companies to ingest machine data and come out with actionable results like that. Um, I think this company has a lot more growth as 5G connects everything. So I am adding to my position today in Splunk, and I recommend you do the same. So here are two opportunities, CRM and SPLK, that I would not miss out on. I think these companies are going to bounce back quickly. As I said, never bet against Benioff um, for CRM, which is Salesforce, and Splunk is a company of the future, and today's sell-off is an opportunity to jump into the stock at a discount. So don't forget to check out zax.com slash promo where we can uh, take a look at the gold rush in marijuana stocks right now as the federal government and the Congress votes on decriminalizing uh, this, this drug uh, around the U.S. So check that out at zax.com slash promo. Thanks for watching, guys.